Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. We're continuing with Jeannie's journey. This is a seven day sampler and this is now Wednesday. So we're now going to begin with this one here. We're going to start off in the middle and work our way out. We have some fun stuff going on that you can't see in this photograph but it's gonna be good. And we're gonna start off, I'm using three colors. You can use any colors that you wish. In my colors I'm using A, B and C. A is lace, B is azure. And C is rose and I'm using Karen one pound yarn today. To begin your journey a six millimeter size J crochet hook today and this is partially way through our stitch along. So we have all of them grouped together and I will see you in a second as we begin and start our journey with the beginning chain and round one. Let's begin the beginning chain. Slip knot and start. We're going to chain two, one and two and second chain from the hook I want you to put in eight single crochets. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And now you're going to join it to be to the beginning one. If you're not sure just count it back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and join it to the first one and we're going to move on to round number two. Keep in the same color. In round number two you're going to chain three which will count as a double crochet and then you are going to double crochet into the same one as the join. Each one of the eight so that you just did one of eight now already each one of them will have two double crochets in each stitch going around. I will see you at the end of round number two. When you have all of them filled in you will have eight sets of two and you'll just join it to the top of the chain three and we're gonna continue this color into round number three. Let's begin number three. You're going to chain three which will count as a double crochet and in the next stitch that you have you're going to apply two treble crochets that are front post. So wrap in the hook twice and then coming around the post and stay on the front side and do two of those into the same stitch. And that's your repeat pattern going around then. So the next one is one double crochet into the next stitch and then into the next post you'll have two front post trebles. So I want you to do that all the way around. This is round number three and we are going to be axing this color at the end and moving on to a new color at that time. When you come all the way around you're finishing with the two front post trebles that you have and all you're just going to do then is just join it to the top of the first chain three and that will conclude that. So we're gonna get rid of this color. Let me show you how to do that. Just trim it. Now you can either weave it in but I prefer to use a tapestry needle which I'll demonstrate in a second. And if you do the tapestry needle it will never fall out on you. Well it should never. Never say never right? So you're just gonna go through the back side and just drag it and don't change the shape of it. So be taut about it. I'm not even sure everybody knows what that word is but that's okay. <laughs> okay and that's good. So back and forth three times. Now if you went over the center like I was doing then you can safely get rid of that. If you're not sure just use a tapestry needle back and forth three times and let's move on with the color B into round number four. So if you've been following the journey all the way through this so far you'll notice that the transition from circle to square have always been the same. It's no difference today. So it says to join uh, to any uh, DC. So just any double crochet is good and you're going to just join it and then chain three. So one, two, three. That's your first double crochet and double crochet again in the same one. So the sides have been what they have been if you've been following the journey. If you haven't been here's what it is. It's gonna be the next one is a half double crochet. The next three are single. So one, two and three. The next one is a half and then your corner is the very next one. So the corners are going to be two double crochet first, chain two and two double crochet. I'll take you through one more side just to make sure you got it. So the one starting out is going to be half double crochet and then three singles in a row. So one, two, three and then a half double crochet and then the next one is your corner. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. 
please do this all the way around, round number four. When you come all the way around, the first stitch that you started with needs to be finished. So it'll be two double crochets into the same stitch and then it's a half double crochet join. So just wrap the hook and going in and it's a half double crochet across and this is considered a chain two space. Get rid of this color. I've already shown you how to do that and let's move on with the color A into round number five. Let's move along now to round number five. Go into any chain two space corner. We're gonna be introducing popcorns on this round. So we're going to then just join with the slip stitch and you need to chain a total of three. So one, two, three and one double crochet into the same one. Now it says starting in the next stitch you're going to do uh, four double crochets in a row. So one, two, three and four. And now the next one is going to be a pico. Sorry, it's going to be a popcorn. So in the next one you're gonna put four double crochets in to start. So one, two, three, and four and then release it from the hook and go to the first one of the grouping of four, pick it up and put it on and pull through like that. And with these popcorns you just have to chain one after you do it just to secure it into position. So the remaining nail to the corner is gonna be uh, one double crochet. So there's a total of four of them. So one, two, three and four and then your corners next. So the corners are two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet and let's start another side. Just make sure you got it. So the first four in a row will be each a double crochet. So one, two, three and four and then it's, it's the middle one of the three if you haven't guessed that yet. So it's gonna be four double crochets to make up the popcorn. So the four going in first and then release it and then going into the first one of the grouping of four, pull through, chain one to lock it and then you're doing the remaining four to the next corner. Corners are ch uh, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number five. When you get to the end of round number five, it's gonna be two double crochet in the corner and then join with the half double crochet to the top of the chain three. And that will conclude that and we're keeping on this color and moving on to round number six. So round number six, still doing popcorns. We're just gonna be shifting the locations of those and there's gonna be two per side. So just begin by chaining three and then one double crochet into the same space. Now we're going to apply one double crochet in the first four. So one, two, three and four and then a popcorn goes into the next one. So there's four double crochets that'll go there first. So one, two, three and four. Release it, go to the fourth back, chain one to lock. Now we're going to do the next three. So that's the one. The popcorn is the second one that you saw and the third one is just right after the popcorn. So make sure you're just kind of looking at it and getting all the stitches that you need to concentrate. So that chain one that locks them is not included as part of that stitch. So don't include that. The next one will be another popcorn. So it'll be four double crochets first. And if you're not sure, there should been, uh, be a total count of four double crochets after this popcorn is in. So chain one to lock. So there should be four left before the corner. So if there isn't, then you may be missing something with this popcorn here. Or if you have too many, then that means that you've gone, uh, that means something's wrong. So you do the last four and then you do your corner. So two double crochet chain two, two double crochet. So let's recap. The first four are going to be double crochets and then a popcorn. Then the next three are double crochet and then a popcorn. And then the last four are double crochet and then you're back on the corner. Please do this all the way around. This is round number, uh, round number six. 
Let's finish number six. The last space has two double crochets in it and then it's a half double crochet joined to the top of the chain three. So let's move on to number seven. It's the last time we're gonna be doing some popcorns in this particular section here. So let's uh, move on to number seven. So number seven, we're going to just chain three counts as your first double and then a double crochet in again. I'm just gonna tell you what to do. So we're gonna do eight double crochets in a row, then a popcorn and then the last eight will be double crochets. Then in the corners it'll be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. At the end of this round we're gonna change our color. So remember that once you get started it's your corners, then eight, popcorn, eight and then corners again and I'll see you at the end of number seven. When you get all the way around to number seven the last space has two double crochets in it and then it's a half double crochet join. This is the end of this color. So let's uh, begin with the color B in just a moment. Let's move on to round number eight, the color B. We're gonna start off in a chain two space uh, corner, any corner will do and just put it onto the hook and then yarning over you'll have two loops pull through the two. That's a standing single crochet. In each stitch going all the way across to the next corner is one single crochet and then the corners are made up of one single crochet chain two, one single crochet. So please do this all the way around for round number eight. Before I leave you make sure that chain one that is part of the popcorn is not included as an extra stitch. So make sure that you jump right over that chain one that locks it into position. So don't include that and that's really critical for this po a particular point. Sorry I forgot to tell you that. At the end of round number eight I'm single crocheting in the very first one that I started with and let's do a half double crochet join. Let's end this color, go on to the color C for round number nine. Let's begin round number nine. Go to any chain two space corner. Corners for this round are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So let's just join it first and you got your chain three which counts as a double crochet and you'll double crochet again. So this is going to be finished when we get back like as far as the corner. So starting in the very next stitch you are going to double crochet and now we're gonna do a two, a double crochet two together around the same post that we just did. So wrap in the hook and go around the post. So just going around the post and pick it up and pull through two and hold and do that one more time. So yep and in, pull through, pull through two and hold and then pull through all three. So this became the next stitch that you're about to skip. So you're going to double crochet in the next and then do the same thing. So then two together around that post. Once that's done you're skipping the next one and then do the one right after that. So double crochet and then two together. What a great stitch. And you're going to do that and I'll see you there. So to keep on skipping I'll see you close to the corner in just a moment. So continuing along skipping the next one and you have one just left before the corner. That's just one double crochet by itself. So you should have what you can see here is 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So now in the corner it's going to be two double crochet and then chain two and two double crochet. So starting out the one, so continue and let's go and do this again. So you're just gonna double crochet the first one from the corner and then you'll do your two together around that post skipping one and etc. So you'll do this all the way around for round number nine and I'll see you at the end of nine. So I'm coming to the end of number nine and I'm just double crocheting the last one here and then let's go to the final space. Really enjoyed that stitch Jeannie, like a lot. That was a good one. <laughs> She's playing with all the crayons and her backs. Okay so that's it and let's uh, get rid of this color. Let's do the final one and have a happy ending today. Number 10 is coming up with the color B. Let's do our final one, color B. You can do a standing single crochet right into any chain two space corner and we'll finish that corner when we get back around. Each stitch around is just one uh, single crochet and nice and easy as you go and I will see you at the end of this uh, round. So corners are single crochet, chain two, single crochet and I'll see you at the end of this round and conclude today. So once you come all the way in number 10 it's just one single crochet in the last 
and then you're just going to join it to the beginning single crochet with the half double crochet join in. Ta-da! You're done. So this will conclude then the Wednesday square. I think this one's my favorite so far. Um, I really liked how innovative and textured and really interesting stitches. I can see people doing something more with this in the future. So I'll see you next time as we move on to the Thursday square next.